Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Wa ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum Ila al-fasli al-lagat al-arabiyyati mujaddadan um, And in this uh, second session uh, Of course, this is the part 2 of the session 2 We're going to talk about writing Arabic Alright, if you look and refer to your worksheet This is this comes right after al-huruf al-shamsi and al-huruf al-qamariya now basically this is rocket science guys this is not as uh, uh, difficult and complicated as it seems all right there are 29 arabic alphabets as we have already learned alif until ya all right and to write these arabic letters is really really easy all right just imagine as if you're writing cursive english all right not the normal english as you can see in session two here that we are right these are all um, letters existing on its own separate forms but in writing Arabic, you just imagine like you are writing cursive English where everyone is joined together and attached to each other. Almost everyone, almost every of these letters, I mean. All right. But just imagine that you are writing it from right to left. All right. As you can see here, Al Alif, Wal Ba, and Ta, until Ya, they are all written from right to left. All right. Of course, this exists, like I say earlier, it exists on its own separate forms. Now, how do we write it? when we join them together and now um, before I go into that I would like to just um, you know go with you quite quickly over here and tell you that basically out of all these 29 most of the letters can be joined together either before or after all right okay but uh, there are some letters some specific letters here as you can see here the ones that I've already highlighted these are the letters that have special rules applied to them all right what are those these are alif and here alif and hamza i will regard these both as one particular letter all right so we will just call it alif hamza all right okay or alif for now and then the next letter is dal and dal ra and zai these two are pairs huh? dal dal ra zai last but not least we have wow so in total we have how many Wahid, Ithnain, Thalatha, Arba'a, Khamsa, Sitta. And Sitta means six. Alright? If we do not regard uh, Hamza as another letter. Alright? Now, like I said before this, when we join letters, okay, there are, um, you know, theoretically, theoretically, when we join letters, there are always um, certain things that we can talk about. Alright? One is... Joining a letter can mean we can join before and after the letter itself. Okay? And of course, we can also talk about when it first occur. Alright? When it first occur in the first... I mean, if it is the first letter in a word. Alright? Or if it is occur, occurs at the end. Alright? So remember, we're going to talk about three. One, um, the circumstance where... In the circumstance or in the condition or in the situation where the letter uh, occurs at the first as the first letter in a word and then when it occurs in the middle last but not least when it occurs on at the end right and of course we have already talked about how it occurs on its separate form all right when it's on its own right? we say just now in al alif wal ba wa ta as we can see here all right okay so Moving on to what we talked about just now. Let us take the normal ones, huh? except for the six letters. Alif, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zai, and Wow. All right, let us not, uh, let, let us not uh, deal with these first. We're going to deal with the normal ones. All right, so let's take what is after Alif, which is the Ba. So, Ba, on its own, all right, separated from others, this is how it is written. Ba. Okay? Now, when during, it occurs at the first part. Okay, this is where you write this. Ba, a short one, and you join it with the next or your desired letter. Okay, to form a word. When it is on the middle, it is basically like this. Ba. All right? Where this is the letter that is being attached to and this is the letter that is being attached after and it just exists on its own bar like that alright and at the end 
it will occur like this al ba all right now for all these uh, letters they occur similarly like this it's simply as that all right now i'm just going to take some of the letters that are a bit tricky for you to understand all right ba and its other variations like ta tha and so on so forth al jim and ha you can always refer it there but i'm just going to refer to some of the letters that are a little bit tricky such as kaf all right so kaf on its own it occurs like this okay but when it is joined either at the at the first part or in the middle al kaf it is totally different it becomes like this ka all right so we have the next letter for instance we're going to write kalbun okay so this is how you write the kaf all right as opposed to the first one see can kalbun means dog a dog not the dog as you can see there's no alif lam here huh? all right now how about if it is in the middle for instance we put alif lam to al kalb all right and there you have that's how it is written and it means the dog you see the kaf in the first and the second they look the, the same all right amma if it's at the end if it is at the end for instance let's take a uh, how do you say um al fakku okay al fakku all right so this is how the kaf is uh, written at the end uh, for instance when you know the reason al fakku means to uh, separate them all right fakku raqaba okay in the quran allah subhanahu ta'ala says fakku raqaba all right so there you go al kaf kalbun al kalbu and al fakku all right now um, another letter or another set of letters that I would like you to really really take a look at it is uh, the sin shin sod and dot all right sin shin sod and dot all right these are another set of letters that are a little bit tricky when it comes to writing all right now on its separate form this is how it's going to look like as we all know now when it is written when it occurs either at the front in the middle or at the end all right you need to remember that for sin shin sort and dot you will have to write sin here these are the what i call uh, the, the the teeth of the scene all right and in the end you need to leave another gap here before you move on to uh, continue it and join it with another um, letter for instance let take let's take sin nun all right sin nun means teeth or tooth gigi all right so yeah you have the two main scene all right and then you have this one extra uh, spot for here before you attach it to in the next letter all right likewise when it is in the middle or at the end you just do it the same way all right so for instance we take as sin because sin is harufu shamsia therefore you put a shadda here and you do not pronounce the uh, lamb i'm sorry about that so you say asinu all right the tooth all right last but not least is when it occurs at the end and you just you have sin all right okay just before that and it occurs the same for uh sort and dot where you have did done for instance occurring at the start of the letter so remember, this is a dot, and you leave another one line over here before you attach it to the next line. And as you put alif lam, out the do. All right, and last but not least, if you want to put it at the end, so you have a dot here, same way. Okay. Now let us take a look at the alif dal the ra za and wa. All right. Now, the main idea behind this is very simple. These six letters, Alif, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zai, and Wa, all right, or you can say Hamza as well here, these letters, they do not attach to each other, all right, except that they can only 
occur attached to another letter if it is at the end. For instance, like I said before this, these are the instances where these letters can be joined. When it occurs at the front, in the middle, or at the back. When it is at the front, it doesn't. It doesn't join or attach or combine with another letter after that. Also, if it is in the middle, it also doesn't attach itself. But if it is at the end, alright, for instance, there is a letter that wants to attach to it. A letter that wants to attach, note I'm saying a letter that wants to attach to it, yes it can, but it doesn't attach itself to other letters, you understand? So you can have al-a, alright? And you can have adda, and you can have az-adda, sorry, adda, and you can have arra, and you can have azza, and you can have alwa, because these letters are the ones that are attaching to it to these six letters but in terms where these letters are concerned they do not attach themselves to each other all right case in point let's just take one of our uh, students name or our friend's name Zuriyati. see there are thy and uh, raw in the name all right so it doesn't attach itself to each other Alright, and because that does not attach to each other, so Ra also doesn't want to attach to this. This is how you write it. Alright, and hence you have Ya, Ta, and Ya as well. These are letters that can attach to each other. Inshallah, as you move along and you progress along, you will find, um, you know, very, you will find that it is going to get easier for you to read. But this, of course, takes practice. Remember, practice always makes perfect. Alright, makes you uh, perfect in many, in many sense. Okay, so hence again, let me just uh, just recap. When we are writing uh, the huruf al Arabiya, the writing Arabic. Remember, it is just like writing cursive Arabic, except that it is from right to the left. And remember, there are six letters that have special rules applied to them, and that is that they do not and they will never attach themselves to any other letters except when there is another letter who wants to attach itself to them. Yes. In that instance, it is permissible for you to do so, as I've already explained to you, in by adding alif lam to each of these words. All right, and also just uh, simply remember the one that I've just talked about. Some of the words that might be tricky to you, like the kaf, haruful kaf, as well as haruful sin, shin, sod, and dot. All right, and before I leave you, I'm just gonna teach you how to write ha. All right, now to write ha, not ha. This ha ha pedas should be no of no difficulty, yeah. Ha ha and ja. But we're gonna talk about ha. Alright, this is the perfect ha. Alright, many of you will struggle writing this, but let me just try to simplify uh, your burden here. You just imagine right a triangle. This is your imagined triangle. You know you do not necessarily draw this, but imagine a triangle and you start at almost at the apex of the triangle, all right, you go on, turn down, make a loop here, and go out of the triangle. You see that? Let me just repeat it again. Okay, imagine a triangle. Start from almost at the apex of it, almost there. Go up, dive down, loop, and out of it. Remember again start at the apex without the imaginary triangle this is going to be a little more realistic up dive down go around loop and out you see and that is how you write your ha now in case where the ha is you know attached to each other there are many ways for you to write it but inshallah i'm going to elaborate in in our class on sunday but you know if you are having any difficulty just refer to this ha and just attach the letters before and after it okay but like i said as you progress along this is of course not permissible you must be able to write it in cursive manner okay so inshallah ta'ala that is only from me today in writing arabic so remember these letters are the ones that we are talking about so assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh